Well, we are up to the top three in the Rock Shot Top 40 Badass Countdown, getting down to the nitty-gritty. And you know a lot about our number three band, Motley Crue, and Nikki Six and Mick Mars, Tommy Lee, and Vince Neil. They're not exactly embarrassed by their badassdom. Motley Crue have literally just defined badasses for a whole generation now. You've got Nikki Six, who died, was resuscitated, and then went and did more drugs. Uh, their antics on stage, I mean, even recently, I mean, they're in the late 90s, they've been getting police, police following them from show to show, looking just because of the reputation they had in the 80s. I mean, these guys are just, they're legends. And unlike a lot of our other badass legends, Motley Crue's not afraid to tell you why. Rolling into the number three spot on our countdown is Motley Crue. They took rock and roll excess to a whole new level. They've been caught on tape doing the nasty, and they never walk away from a fight. The crew's decaded decadence began in the early 80s, and from the beginning, this fearless foursome came out swinging. Well, our very first concert ended in, um, you know, I believe a couple of people in the front row got their heads split open, and Vince was in the crowd, you know, punching some guy. The way I kind of remember is that somebody said something, you know, hey, you or you look like my sister, or something like that, and Nicky took off his chain and started whacking this guy. Those kind of stories would happen every single night. We're like a porno movie. We give 100%. You get everything with the crew. In 1998, Tommy Lee and his sometime spouse, Pamela Anderson, gave more than 100% when their steamy home movies were made public. Vince Neil's own video exploits turned up soon after. Somebody just had a great idea that since the Tommy and Pam thing, you know, was so successful, I guess, that uh, you know, he ran across some tapes of me. And But I was like, what can I do about it? You know, I'm not going to go fight somebody about it. When it came to excess, nobody did it more excessively than the crew. In 1984, Vince Neil crashed his car, killing Hanoi Rock's drummer Razzle. Three years later, Nikki Six OD'd and lived to tell. The story is that my heart stopped, and they couldn't revive me. So they put me in the ambulance, two adrenaline needles, into my chest, um, and I come back. Even a near-death experience wouldn't slow Nikki down. So I uh, hitchhiked the ride home and cooked up the largest shot of heroin I've ever had. Shot it into my arm and passed out. Woke up the next day, the needle was still in my arm. They lived the party life at 11, and they didn't stop, and when you know, their bodies dictated that they stopped. They overruled their bodies. It went even harder. Yeah. 